is if there is support for a multiverse in this mm. vicinity, it's not from the fact that our universe is fine tuned. Mm. It's from the mere existence of our universe, mm. the mere fact that our universe exists. Because right. once you take that out of the evidence, it collapses. So it's a mm. bit like, I'm trying to think of an analogy, talking to my wife about this. You know, so suppose, suppose we were trying to decide, suppose there was a, uh, someone who was attracted to to you matt and we were trying to decide whether that person was attracted to your gorgeous good looks or your wonderful <laughs> dress sense and so to f- to figure it out we might sort of dress you up in rags so we mm. take the but and if the attraction of this person then disappears well it wasn't your good looks it yeah. was it was the way you were dressing so it's the same with the multiverse if you take out of the evidence the mere existence then the support collapses so mm, if there wow. is evidence for a multiverse here it's not it, it's the it's from the mere existence now you might think sorry we've got straight in at the deep end here you it's might think um how could the mere existence of our universe give us reason to think there's more universes mm. well there is it's actually pretty plausible from the way the mathematics of probability works i mean it may be an analogy if there's like if there's four people, there's four people in my family home, right? Um, now, if you say, what's the likelihood Philip's at home? Um, well, if there's only one person at home, then it's one in four. Mm. If there's two people at home, then it's 50 50. If there's, you know, if there's four people at home, it's an episode. The more people there are, mm. the more likely it is that this particular person's going to yes. be there. And yeah. it sort of looks on the face of it like it works out the same. Like the more universes there are, mm. the more likely it is that our universe exists. Okay. Mm. And and then people debate whether there's something that cancels that out because it does yeah. feel a bit weird that you'd, it's too easy that you'd have mm. evidence for a multiverse just from the mere existence of our universe. But anyway, this is important because it's nothing to do with the fact that our universe is fine tuned for life. Mm. And so if you're going to take into account all the evidence, yeah, maybe the mere existence of our universe supports a multiverse. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Mm. But th- but then the fact that it's fine tuned for life is distinct evidence. And so mm. the, the, you have to, if you're going to explain that, it's going to be in something in terms of something else. Mm. And, you know, the other most discussed candidate is something kind of godish.